Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. Please leave a like on the video, I'd really appreciate it. Also, my channel grow. Now, today I'll be showing you guys how to build my 3x3 creeper face water door. So, let's just see what this thing does and then get cracking on with the tutorial. So, click the button. The creeper face door opens up with a sweet looking pillar of water that falls off. I, I still love that a lot. Click the button again and it closes super fast. So fairly simple to build actually. It is only three wide and all of it runs off of one mono stable circuit due to these nice little half slab ladders. This is where it might get a little confusing for you guys, but honestly, it's not that bad overall. So let's just start building this thing right away. All right, guys, so for this build, we're going to need a 11 by three spacing. And we're also going to have to dig down at least four. And as you can see in the middle, we need to come over one more block. So in the middle, make it a 12 by three spacing. Yeah. <laughs> so coming off this 12, 12th block right here, we're going to put a block with some redstone on top of it. Now, if I call this dust, I know some people are like, it's not called dust, FedEx. It's called redstone. Nah. I know. You don't think I know. I just call it dust because I don't know. I've always done it. <laughs> I like making up names for things. All right. Okay. Next, coming off this block, we're going to put a repeater set to one tick delay and put three redstone dust in front of that so one two and three next we're going to put a block in front of the redstone with a torch coming out of it then on top of this torch we're going to put a sticky piston facing upwards it will extend up but before we put our block on top of it we're going to put a sticky piston right next to it and another sticky piston right next there we go so it should look something like that Oh yeah, also I didn't tell you what we need in our for this build, but if you look in my hut bar, this is all the stuff you're going to need. And then you're also going to need a few things for your creeper face door, which is four, four stairs of any choice that you want, four blocks of any choice that you want, four half slabs that, guess what, what you want, and we're also going to need two buckets of water. So let's just get back to this and actually let, and let me take out my quartz i'm gonna make the whole thing quartz i wasn't going to but let's just make the whole thing quartz so coming off our extended sticky piston we're going to put a block and then from here what i like to do is put in my 3x3 door so come over one on both sides and then come up three then come over three on the top and then over one and up three making your 3x3 door and then actually i like to make a 3x3 on the floor as well because this is our flooring like that beautiful so now let's fill, fill in our sticky pistons. That's what I do. I make my 3x3 door to put in all the pistons. Because if we get all the pistons in now, it'll make it a lot simple. Well, it'll make it easier for you guys. Me, I know how to build it by heart, but it'll make it easier for you guys. So coming off the sides of our walls, we're going to come over two blocks. And then we're going to put sticky pistons facing in towards our wall, like so. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Come out two blocks. And then put your sticky pistons facing in towards your wall. So one, two, and three. There we go. And then on the top, we're gonna to come up three blocks, one, two, and three, delete these two, and then put sticky pistons facing downwards towards your ceiling along all of these blocks. Now we're gonna put in our sticky pistons for our creeper faces, cause these sticky pistons literally are just for the water. The next ones are for your creeper faces. So on the top ones, we just come over three blocks like so and put your sticky pistons facing down and actually leave these blocks here cause we're going to need them for later. And do the same thing on this side, over three and down three with sticky pistons like that. And then for the side parts of our creeper face, we're going to come up two sticky pistons on both sides of these ones. So do it like that. There we go. So if you go to the back of them, it should look like this. It should just look like a big clump of seven sticky pistons on your back. And now we can put in our creeper faces. So actually, let me get rid of this button. We can make our creeper faces. So like I said, any stairs you want, it doesn't really matter. I'm using quartz. You can use stone, netherrack, sandstone, wood, whatever you want. So what we're going to do is put a right side up stair so you know we can walk up the stair right here and then we're going to put a upside down stair on the top sticky piston like that and do it to all of them so right side up upside down right side up upside down right side up oh <laughs> right side up upside down there we go and then for the top ones we're going to go half slab half slab and normal block well upside down half slab actually half slab yeah so upside down half slab upside down half slab normal block and that will make literally our creeper face and then you know what i'll fill this in later once we get towards the end of it but we want to get towards we want to start doing the redstone stuff so we're going to come back down here where our repeater is on one tick delay and we're going to put a block right above it next to this redstone dust and put some dust facing off the side as you can see it connects together and all that good stuff next we're going to put a sticky piston facing upwards from the block with the redstone on it with a block on top of that and then a block down and then coming out of the block with the sticky piston we're going to put a repeater on one tick delay this creates our mono stable circuit which literally is the backbone to this whole thing this activates everything this is what activates everything so if yours is not working it's 
probably something to do with this because <laughs> this literally activates everything. Next, we're going to put a block up in front of our repeater, come out one and go towards these sticky pistons that are one more up from our extended one and put dust here. And then on this side, do the same thing. Come out one over and put dust here. You know what? Before I go any further, come to these side ones right here and just come a block out from the middle bottom sticky piston and put a repeater here, set it to three ticks delay. Now, the reason I want you to do this is because it makes putting in the half slab ladders a hundred times easier and it'll make it so you guys do not get as confused. So do it on both sides like that. All right, now we can come back down over here. So right next to our torch, which is literally our only torch, so you don't really have to look for it since it's our only torch. <laughs> we're gonna put blocks right next to our torch with dust down on top of them. As you can see, this dust does connect to here because technically the sticky pistons and regular pistons aren't really blocked, but this will still activate it. Do not worry, this will still activate it. And then we're gonna come a block up next to them and put dust down on top of both these blocks. And as you can see, it connects right to it. And then we're gonna come two more blocks out. One, two, one, two, with redstone dust on top of both of these. And now this is where we're gonna start making our half slab ladder. So it's gonna get a little bit confusing if you still don't understand how these fully work. So all you have to do is literally put a half slab right above this redstone, then come over one and then down one, then just delete these two, because those are not needed, with dust on top of it. And do the same thing again, up one, over one, up, oh, down one, delete these two, put dust and then this one's the easiest one just put a half slab right next to the repeater there we go couldn't think of the word repeater and then put dust on top of it and then do the same thing on this side so up one over one down one delete these two dust up one over one down one delete them redstone dust and then just put one right next to it Boop, with redstone dust then coming off from where our repeater is on three ticks later, we're gonna come one more block out and put redstone dust here as well that's just to activate this so now this whole side is done this whole side will activate except for this piston but don't worry about that this piston has its own circuitry completely so now let's do this side so coming down here where our mono stable circuit is coming off this block with dust we're just gonna come over one and then up one more and put redstone dust here and do the same thing on this side over one and up one with redstone dust and then we're gonna guess what start making more half slab ladders so up one over one down one delete them all <laughs> put dust and then just put the half slab right next to it Boop. with redstone the same thing on this side up one over one down one delete these two redstone and then one right next to it with redstone as well now this one's going to be a little bit different since we're going to be connecting it to up here but just so you don't get confused again right on this top piston the top top piston to the side we're going to put a block from it with a repeater here set it to three ticks away with a block in front of it so now let's start our half slab ladders again so up one over one down one delete these two dust and then put one right next to the three tick with dust and same thing on this side up one over one down one delete them both dust half slab right next to it with dust and then we also have to do another half slab here so half slab next to the block that the repeater is going into with dust on top of both of them now the reason why you might be thinking okay why do we need a half slab here because you know we've already cleared all the pistons now the reason for this is if you put a block here it will actually activate this piston right here completely ruining the door so we have to use a half slab here but after these ones now what we have to do is put two blocks up like this and put dust along these blocks bop, 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 bop. there we go and then now to activate this piston over here literally what we're gonna have to do is come down one more block from either side doesn't really matter with a repeater set it to three ticks of light with a block in front of it like that and then do not delete this block yet put a half slab upside down underneath it then delete it and then put a half slab coming over above this sticky piston with dust down on top of it. And that will activate this top one. All right, guys, so now our creeper door should be working in order, functionality, all that good stuff. <laughs> so don't put the water in just yet. We're just gonna make sure our creeper door is working and, oh, oh, you know what, I forgot. Okay, I didn't notice this, but where these three tick repeaters are right here, I completely forgot to come out a block on them and put dust here. These need to be connected right here. I completely forgot about those. There we go. So just come a block out from these three tick delay repeaters and put your dust there. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> so now everything should be in working order. So actually, let me get rid of my lime green wool and take out my red wool because this is our input right here, right where we started at the beginning. Just delete these two blocks if you want to. You don't have to. But this, I like to just make my input red. This is our input for everything right here. 
like these two blocks, you, whatever's going to these blocks creates, makes everything work, whatever. <laughs> so if I put a button off one of these blocks and press it, it should close our creeper door. So click the button. Our creeper doors close on both sides. Make sure both sides are working. So go to both sides. If yours does not do this, then obviously you did something wrong and you're going to have to go back in the video, guys. Sorry, but yeah, it happens. So let's just click the button again to make sure the closing's all good. I mean, the opening's good. So yep, everything's working in great order. So now let's put in our water buckets. So literally all we have to do is coming off these upside down uh, stairs, just come two blocks up with your block of choice. So one, two on all of them. One, two, one two on all of them one two there we go we got it all of them now we can put it in our water so come right over here and right in here is where our first water is going to go and then on this side where our half slab is we're going to put our water right there so now everything should be working so let's click the button down here why did i delete it there there's our water door closing and then if we click it again there is our water door opening up so now all we literally have to do is like make it look all nice and whatnot what i like to do is put black wool around it you do not have to do this i just like doing it so literally just put some black wool all the way around it doop -a -doop -a -doop like that like that and then do it on this side as well I don't really need to tell you guys how to make a wall. <laughs> I say it every video. I, I don't need to tell you how to make a wall. But if you want to see how to make a wall, just literally go like that. But yeah, guys, you are completely done. And of course, wherever that input is, is where you can extend it out. Like I said, this thing runs off a whole monostable circuit. So you don't need any T flip flop or anything like that. You just need a button. Let's put this in here and put this here. And then I'll show you how to extend it out like that. There we go. So there's our creeper face door. Now, if you want to extend it out, literally, let's just delete this button. And then all you have to do is literally any part of this red wool, any part, you can't come over here with dust like this. You can't do that or it will not work, but anything going into these blocks. So, I mean, you can do it here if you want. You can put dust here like that if you want. But what I like to do is just put a block here, put a repeater going into it, set to one tick delay, and then, you know, just bring it all the way down here, bring it wherever you want. And let's just put some dust all along this. There we go. Put our button here. Click the button. The door closes. The door opens up. Now, if you want two buttons, one for inside and one for outside, just come over here, do the same thing. Put a block here, repeater, bring it to wherever you want. Put dust like so. Put a button over here, click it and it closes and it opens up. So there you guys go. That's how you build my water creeper face 3x3 door. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys, <laughs> that thing is so cool. Peace.